we're back and we're talking about our obsession with DNA. Of course, I'm partial to my heritage and we were just talking in between, in between shoots here. And by the way, I just turn on the camera and we're talking. Please don't think that, that, that I had even a sticky note of things we're gonna talk about. Well, this is just us talking it's and having the camera It's just normal. It's just, yeah, <laughs> around, the, around the kitchen table talking. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, I, and I've probably made a video or at least hinted about this before, but I just wanted to, I wanted us all in this moment to embrace in sober minds how miraculous it is that any of us are here. Especially, I feel, especially if you're American like we are. Because the, the richness in our DNA, going back to so many different places. I mean, so for us to be here, we've got, we've got Central America, and then of course there were Mexicans, so then there's the Spanish on, and European on that side. Yes. So that means people came from Spain and Europe all the way to Central, Amer Mex uh, Central America. For them to become part of the, Central America to, to spawn what ultimately would be Mexicans. Could have got killed anywhere along the, the lines. Ship. Anywhere. You know, the Mexican side, they came here on a train. My grandparents from oh, really? Mexico came on a train. And then they went to Ellis. They were at Ellis Island. Man, and then I mean, another thing I've been reading about was the quarantine. They were quarantined. And you're and Papo, you know, he talked he talked in depth about that. So he'd heard a lot about that from Grandpa Joe, you know, about them quarantined. They didn't just they, they didn't just get off the train, it came from Mexico, or came, came from Italy, get off the ship, and just, okay, here we are, you know, no, they were quarantined, they were tested to make sure that they didn't bring diseases here, and, um, and then if they were sick, they, they, you know, after they went through the series Man, and they, they <laughs> tested them, then they had to go to, a, if they were sick, they had to go to a hospital. So then, I, you know, I was reading about all this stuff and thinking, wow, it could have been my grandfather. It could have been some of his siblings. I mean, and the thing too, like, it's not like it, that was not easy to come from what no. Michigan, or however you say it. We don't know. We can't Mich speak Spanish. Mich Gr Grandma always said, Mi Gr 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 Grandma always said, Mi Michigan. Yeah, it Michigan? sounds like Michigan in my mind. Michigan. I don't know. Um, so I'm gonna steal a special guest. <laughs> my daughter was was playing. Oh, she's actually happy about this. <laughs> Look. Hi. Isn't this funny too that genetics would be that this girl could come from us? I mean, this is my mom, this is me, and then so this is three generations right here. And she needs to wipe her nose. There we go. Yes. So. <laughs> and um, but anyway, this is just funny. Blue eyes, blonde hair, lot fair skin, and my wife has the same complexion as me. And uh, there you go. But it's just so funny though. Like it's just amazing, like how recessive genes work. Okay, I'll let her get back to playing. Um, <laughs> Hi, baby. But it's just funny because it's like it's miraculous for us to exist as Americans, especially. So that's on the Mexican side. Then on the Italian yes. side, they had to get on a ship and cross a ship as well. Yes, and then the, and then the, 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 there was a, a a ship from Italy that that sank. So that made me think, oh my goodness, that could have been my family's ship. I mean, it was some family ship, and there, there were there were hundreds of people on that ship. I don't know how many were how many were saved, I, but I was reading about reading on that article, and it was like, it's a miracle. I mean, you know, we are all miracles for being here, seeing what our families had to go through, and the trip. I was looking at some of the passenger list, and the, I mean, it took them um, at least two weeks to get here. Man. I mean, took to at least two weeks because it was showing the dates on there. Because anytime I saw a date that was close to when I, I I'm pretty sure my grandfather came. I would think, oh, maybe I'll find him on this one. Maybe I'll find him on this one because it had the ship's name and the passengers and lots, lots because they found that they could have a better life. You know, they could have more opportunity if they came to America. So wow, to think that they left their family that they may never see again. It's something that I take for granted for sure and I think maybe now that we're talking about this, maybe you're starting to realize, maybe you did too. But if you're American, just the travel alone for your ancestors to get here. I mean, and, and you think, oh, well, you know, Mexico, that borders America. Yeah, but they ended up in Buffalo, New York, which is almost in Canada. But I just happened to be wearing a Canadian shirt, by the way. But 
uh, still, that was a long way to travel. Yes. So whether it was by train or whether it was across the ocean, that was a long time ago too. So travel was a lot worse than it is now. And you know, it's not to say that it's not still miraculous for you to exist if you're in Europe. I mean, hey, with all the wars and all the stuff that's gone on, it's hard for any of us to exist. But especially if you're American, what a sacrifice our, all of our ancestors had to go through just for us to be here today. I just want to thank them. I just want to, you know, want to, I want to thank all my ancestors. It's like, I wish I could just, you know, thank you. Thank you for doing this. Thank you for, you know, for, for keeping yourself safe, you know, and, you know, just, you know, trying to be, trying to be wise and make, make the right decisions and then try to figure, for them to figure out, okay, which country are we going to go to yeah. now? Where's the safe place? Where's the safe haven that yeah. we can go to? And that, that's what you know, tears me up when I think, wow, when they left um, where, whatever was before Italy, North Africa, or, I mean, you know, I don't really know the trail exactly, but if, if it was- There's North, African in our blood, so- Yes, I, if it, if, if it was when they out. were going through North Africa, then it's just they were thinking, okay, and then Italy. And so it's just like, it really, I don't know, it just kind of does something to me because they were like, hey, it's okay, you can come. You can come, you can farm, and you can fish. It's yeah, okay. Yeah, because your Sephardic Jewish grandmother, they could have been from Spain, but originally they had to come through Africa or something, however that all worked out, and then to Italy, and then here. I mean, but that's just what we know. I mean, man, it's, it's, uh, it's miraculous to be American. I mean, what yes. I mean, I'm grateful to be in this country. It's a great country, but it's miraculous to even be able to exist as an American because of what sacrifice it took of all of your ancestors to get here. And that yes. wasn't an easy move, and a lot of people didn't even survive the move. And just leaving your whole life behind. Yes, because <laughs> Grandpa, I mean, imagine, as far as I know, my grandfather and his two brothers um, I don't know that they ever went back to Italy because I know my grandpa always wanted me to go and he, he always, you know, it was always important to him that I go and I always thought, well, you know, he isn't there and I won't know family, but now, uh, you know, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to know some of the family members through, through our DNA and, you know, I'm going to, I'm going to start connecting with, with some that are over there. So it's going to be like, so I, I have family over there. I mean, it's like our family's growing. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> so it is like that. Yeah. Our family is, our family's growing. It's just, it, it is, it's great. It's just great. Um, yeah, I, I, yeah, I, I can't, yeah, but grandpa, I'm sorry, I got sidetracked with grandpa. My grandpa, my grandfather never went back to Italy. I mean, he came here when he did. And then he didn't ever go back. He communicated he, with his with his dad and with his mom and with his brothers and sisters that were still over there. But he didn't ever go back. I mean, when they they made up their mind, they were young. They had to be young. I mean, I'm thinking even if Grandpa if, if Grandpa came in 1908, I'm thinking he so he was somewhere around 18. But then there was another brother that was a little older than him, one that was younger. Don't know the exact dates, but. Anyways, they, they left not knowing if they would ever return to Italy. And as far as I know, the, the, I, I, as far as I know, out of those three brothers, none of them returned. Amen. None of them returned. That is a good stopping point for this video. But if you would like to share too how miraculous it is for you to exist, even if you're not American, it's miraculous that any of us exist.